Hello everyone. In this video, we study about how to obtain Fourier series expansion of the function whose period is a 2n. Moving to an example, suppose we have the question of obtain a Fourier series expansion of the function f of x equal to e power minus x, where x takes the values between 0 to 2. Moving to the solution part, we know that we know that from the previous videos, the Fourier series expansion of the Fourier series expansion of the function f of x defined on the interval 0, 2L is given by. It's given by the formula f of x equal to a naught by 2 plus summation n running from 1 to infinity a n cos n pi x by l plus summation n running from 1 to infinity b n sin n pi x by l where the Fourier constants a naught a n and b n is given by a naught equal to 1 upon l integral 0 to 2 l f of x into dx. And formula for a n is 1 upon l integral 0 to 2 l f of x into cos n pi x by l into dx. So and the formula to b n is 1 upon l integral 0 to 2 l f of x into sin n pi x by l into dx. Here, but the given function is defined on the interval 0 comma 2. Here, the function f of x is defined on the interval 0 comma 2. Since it takes the values between 0 to 2, 0 to 2 is the interval on which the function is defined. But the general interval is of the form 0 to 2 n is 0 comma 2 n in the sense in place of 2 l we have 2 so the value of l will be equal to 1. So what we do here we just substitute the value of l in all the above formula of a naught a n b n and we find these constants and we substitute back in the expression of f of x. Now we take a 1 by 1 now first I consider a naught expression. So now we have a naught equal to we have a naught equal to it is 1 upon l l value is 1 integral 0 to 2 times l into f of x dx. So f of x value is e to the power of minus x it becomes integral 0 to 2 e power minus x into dx. If I integrate this it is e to the power of minus x by minus 1 between the limits 0 to 2. Substituting a limit, minus sign is kept outside. It is e power minus 2 minus e power 0. Multiply this minus inside. Minus into minus is plus. e power 0 is 1. So this becomes 1 minus e to the power of minus 2. So this is the expression for a naught. On the same lines, I consider the expression of a n now. A n is given by 1 upon L integral 0 to 2 times L f of x into cos n by x by L value is 1 into dx. I substitute the value of f of x. This becomes integral 0 to 2. f of x value is e to the power of minus x into cos n by x into dx. Now we have the integral identity that integral of e to the power of ax into cos bx is given by e power ax divided by a square plus b square into a cos bx plus b sin bx. So I will compare this integral with the standard formula. So in place of a I have minus 1 and in place of constant b I have n pi. So if I make use of that identity I get e to the power of minus x divided by minus 1 square plus n square pi square into a cos bx. It is minus 
cos b times x plus b sin bx b value is n times pi is sin n times pi into x between the limits 0 to 2. Now if I substitute a limit and come to the second term when I substitute a limit put x equal to 2 it becomes a sin 2n pi and for lower limit it becomes sin 0 sin n pi is also 0 sin 0 is also 0 so this term will completely go to 0 second term will go to 0 because it takes a form sin 2n pi minus sin 0 for upper limit also it becomes 0 for lower limit also it becomes 0 so now we have the expression a n is equal to 1 upon 1 square will be 1 plus n square pi square into minus also taken out substitute upper limit for e power minus x cos n pi x this becomes e to the power of minus 2 into cos 2 n pi minus lower limit is e to the power of 0 into cos 0. So we know the standard result that cos 2 n pi value is 1. So this becomes minus of e to the power of minus 2 minus 1 divided by 1 plus n square pi square. So in the sense a n is equal to 1 minus e for minus 2 divided by 1 plus n square pi square. So I'll just mark this. Now we take upon a formula for b n. So the we know that the formula to find out the coefficient b n is given by 1 upon l integral 0 to 2 times l f of x into sin n pi x by l values again 1 here into dx. So I substitute the value of f of x this becomes integral 0 to 2 e to the power of minus x sin n pi x into dx. Again we have the standard identity in the form of integral e power ax sin bx is given by e to the power of ax divided by a square plus b square into a sin bx minus b cos bx. So I make use of this identity because in place of a I have minus 1 and in place of b I have n pi. So we get bn is equal to e to the power of minus x divided by minus 1 square plus n square pi square into a sin bx. So this is minus sin n times pi into x minus b cos bx. b value is n times pi into x between the limits 0 to 2. If I substitute limits for the first term, this takes the form sin 2n pi minus sin 0. So this complete first term will go to 0 for upper limit as well as lower limit. So we substitute limits only for the second term now. We get bn equal to it is 1 upon 1 minus 1 square is plus 1 plus n square pi square into minus n pi I will take it outside n times pi into cos n pi x between the limits e power minus x cos n pi x between the limits. So this becomes e to the power of minus 2 cos 2 a n pi minus e to the power of 0 into cos 0. So cos 2 n pi value is 1, cos 0 value is 1. So this becomes b n equal to minus n pi divided by 1 plus n square pi square into e to the power of minus 2 minus 1 or I can write b n as n times pi into 1 minus e to the power of minus 2 divided by 1 plus n square pi square. So this is expression for b n. Now I substitute the value of a naught, a n and b n in the formula f of x. So we have this implies f of x is equal to a naught by 2. So the expression to find out a naught 
we got here. So a naught value is one minus e to the power of minus two. So this is one minus e to the power of minus two by two a naught by two plus summation n running from one to infinity. It is a n into cos n pi x. So the value of a n is one minus e power minus two by one plus n square pi square. It is one minus e power minus two by one plus n square pi square. It is a n into cos n pi x plus summation n running from one to infinity b n b n values n pi into one minus e to the power of minus two pi. One plus n square pi square into sine n pi x, and the L value in this case is one. So this is the required Fourier series expression for the given function f of x equal to e to the power of minus x in the interval zero comma two. Thank you all.